Michael, 12 years ago, I had a devastating stroke. A devastating stroke. How long? 12 years ago. What happened? Uh, well, uh, I went to bed one night with Jennifer, and uh, I woke up in the middle of the night with a really bad headache, really bad headache. Went in, urinated, went back to bed. Got up that morning. I had a uh, uh, job that I was starting the next day, and I opened up my script to look at my script, and I couldn't read it. It was like Chinese. I couldn't read it. I was like, Jennifer, I can't read this. I can't read this. What do you mean you can't read it? I can't read it. I can't read this. And she said, uh, okay, she knew immediately that something was on. Thank God for Jennifer, because she immediately, like, you know, called my doctor, uh, uh, drove me uh, to uh, Cedars. I think it was Cedars. Um, and at that time, Michael, I didn't know my children's name. I didn't know uh, my, uh, I didn't know who the president was. Uh, I think it was Obama. At the Were time. you terrified? No, I was in a kind of a floating thing. But what happened, Michael, is I got like 50% of my memory back pretty quickly. But it's taken uh, uh, till right before COVID that all of my memory has come back. When you have a, a stroke and your brain tears like that, it uh, it it he it will heal itself. Your brain will heal itself, and but it takes a long time, and it's very 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 frustrating. So names, places, streets. Uh, uh, numbers, uh, being able to navigate. Um, I really did not, uh, did not feel, um, like I was back. And, and when I act, for instance, I have to, I have to act like I've always acted. I, I listened to you and Michael talk about, um, uh, hearing things on headphones and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I totally respect that and I get it. But for me, if I can't be the way that I used to be, it, it's not fulfilling. If somebody's got to feed me lines or something like that, I just, I don't, I don't like it. And so 10 years ago, that's, uh, or 12 years ago, that's, you know, I really stopped working. I mean, did I work? Yeah, I worked here and there. But that's when I started doing the, the Comic-Cons because I have a, uh, 19 year old son now he was 12 at the time or not not 19 minus 12 whatever that is and right. i and and my son um dashel and so i still i had bills to pay and so um you had so, to work uh i had to work and i worked on a lot of stuff that that they would pay me you know uh, quite a bit of money to come in and do like three days uh, or, or not three days like one day or two days yeah. and then they use my name and stamp it up there and put it up oh michael bean you know picture of me with a gun or something on the front of the thing right and then you know slowly but surely you 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 go down and um um i'm out of that now i did um i did uh, mandalorian which was I didn't have a lot of dialogue in that, but I did The Walking Dead recently. And The Walking Dead, I had about nine pages. I had about nine pages that I had to do. And for me, Michael, I I don't like to be the person, I think I mentioned this earlier, I don't like to be the person when, when you're doing a shot, there are a lot of elements involved. There's the DP looking at stuff. There's a camera operator this, that, that just got his job. There's a focus pull. Yeah, there's sound. There's all that kind of yeah. stuff. And any, any one of those elements can fuck up a shot. And it's highly important to me that I don't fuck up a shot by going, uh, sorry, I forgot my line. It's highly important to me. So you go so, over these lines over, hundreds yeah. and hundreds of times. If not thousands. 